Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Swamp Johnson, and this video will be demonetized and most likely age-restricted. Welcome to Swamp News. It is the one-year anniversary of January 6th, which we all know was the deadliest threat to democracy in our nation's history. But before we get into that, I would like to show you a video of how the left so peacefully protested the inauguration of Donald Trump. Here is a video by an intrepid reporter known as Mays. You heard both? Police had to push back the protesters so firefighters could get to the flames. Small fires had appeared all day. This upped the temperature, which of course was the point. One demonstrator threw a flashbang grenade back at police. It exploded in an officer's face. Plenty of tear gas, six officers reportedly injured. They will destroy your limo. You need to leave now. AK-47, put the cops in piggy heaven. Beautiful and peaceful. And why the Trump supporters on January 6th couldn't have simply acted like that is really beyond me and beyond anybody who has seen anything from January 6th. Joe Biden, the alleged president of the United States, had this to say. I did not seek this fight brought to this capital one year ago today, <clears throat> but I will not shrink from it either. I will stand in this breach. I will defend this nation. And I will allow no one to place a dagger at the throat of democracy. We will make sure the will of the people is heard, that the ballot prevails, not violence, that authority in this nation will always be peacefully transferred. I believe the power of the presidency and the purpose is to unite this nation, not divide it, to lift us up, not tear us apart. See, about us, about us, not about me. Very strong words from our soundstage president, whose greatest accomplishment thus far has been making the $5 hot and ready pizza no more. But to further explain how dangerous this day really was and how close we came to losing our democracy, here is AOC talking about what she went through while the actual footage of what she went through plays alongside it. Warning, this is intense. This was the day democracy almost died. Um, if this was the journey that my life was taking, that I felt that things were going to be okay. Um, um, and that, you know, I had fulfilled my purpose. But half of, we came close to half of the house nearly dying on and Wednesday. You have all of those thoughts um, where, you know, at the end of your life, and all of these thoughts come rushing to you. And um, that's what happened to a lot of us on Wednesday. Um, and I thought I, I, I did not think, I did not know if I was going to make it to the end of that day alive. Truly shocking stuff. It's no wonder why a lot of the people who up until January 6th had been championing the defund the police movement suddenly found themselves being forced, forced 
to increase the funding for Capitol Police by a very large margin. It's just what happened. It's not their fault, right? I mean, (laughs) yeah. And I would just like to say, for the record, on Swamp News, anyone who committed crimes on that day should be charged. However, many of the people who committed crimes were federal agents, and I doubt they will be charged. So, for the rest of this special edition of Swamp News, here's some more footage you may have never seen from January 6th. Get destroyed on your watch! F- all of you. Call for backup. Get some help down here. I agree with you, brother, but it's not ours. It belongs to the Vice President of the United States yeah. when he's in here. It's not our chair. Look, I love you guys, you're brothers, but we can't be disrespectful. Truly shocking stuff. If only they had been peaceful, like the wonderful people who were in Kenosha that were so unjustly shot by Kyle Rittenhouse. My name is Swamp Johnson, and this has been Swamp News. Happy January 6th.